Hi. Hello. Hello. This is going to be a live video, live chat video. I'll be talking to live people uh, during the show. And if you are watching this at a later time and you want to speed through at any time, you go right ahead and you can speed through on the on the little screen up there. So I'm just going to wait just a few minutes and wait for some people to come into the room. Hi, Brittany. Christy, I got your message, Christy. I'm putting you on the napkin exchange. I'm going to talk about it here in a minute. Tell y'all what's going on. I've been out running around. I took my mom to Walmart today. I decided to pick up a few things. Hi, Terry. I don't buy very many new supplies. Hi, Giovanna. But I bought this new stencil at Walmart today. And I think it was just a couple of two or three dollars. It wasn't very much. And there's three sheets. I don't know if you can see through the, they're pretty good letters, but here's, here's the sheets, one, two, three sheets, and uh, I think I'm going to enjoy all of the sayings, because it's peace, hope, count your blessings, love, happiness, inspire, uh, more love, love, <laughs> think, happy, be happy, wish, and believe. And then smile, hope, laugh, faith, peace, and dream. So I like all of those little stencil sayings. And they're really nice. They were Walmart. And uh, there's three sheets of them. And I think I can get a lot of use out of these on some of my journal pages. And, uh, you know, so there's, you know, a lot to choose from. They'll come in handy when I do uh, journaling my fives again in a couple of weeks. Christy got to a Memphis at the Pyramid, a 50 birthday get together for cousin. I got my art challenge. Brittany says she's got her art challenges to do after work and she's not feeling creative. Well, I'm hope that'll change too. <laughs> that'll change. You get in it, you'll get involved in it, and then that'll change. Crafting always makes me happy when I get something to do. But I went to Walmart and I got this and I got me some buttons. And I thought they were pretty cute. Um, I thought, you know, I was doing some of those uh, cluster snippet clusters. And I thought these would be cute on some of those because they're bright and colorful. I'll put some of them in my button box. And they're, uh, they're, some of them, I guess they're flat. And some of them have a, have a little groove on them. Yeah, some of them are decorated. Some of them are decorated with these little groovy views, groovies, and some of them aren't. 
So there's kind of stackable, I guess. But they got little grooves on them. Groovy. <laughs> so I'll just put a few of them in here to do some crafting with. So, and the rest I'll put in a storage area. Yeah, I just did a cluster the other day, or was it yesterday or day before? And um, on my uh, journaling by fives, uh, and I did a cluster on one of my pages in it. Uh, and they're just uh, hobo style clusters. I had a little bit of fabric, a little bit of paper, decorative scissors on those, a little bit more paper, had a couple pieces of lace and a button. And uh, it's cuter in person than it is on camera that was one and this was another one and uh just a little bit of lace a little bit of fabric and i put them on this picnic page that i made <laughs> and this is a hand it's a hand button they came from walmart a long time ago I, they probably still carry them but anyway that was couple things I got at Walmart and I'm going to use my journaling by fives uh, and do the back pages uh, when we play the game again in in a week and a half now <laughs> it was two weeks but now it's a week and a half so I got me some new stencils and I like those and they go in my stencil drawer over here And I went to my, was over at my mom's, and I got me a couple of napkins from over there. Fabric samples, did you get them in the mail? Were they free? Did you know that uh, there are some places, uh, furniture places online, that will send you free fabric samples? If you ask for them. I've done that before and uh, and you can also get uh, samples of invitations like wedding invitations uh, people that do that that sell invitations online they will send you a sample packet for free if you request it you might have to fill out a little bit of information on what kind of invitations you're interested in but I've done that before too and got free invitations and and I got to use the uh, designs and uh, and I made uh, journals out of the some of the trifold information that they sent the invitations into me and I made a folder and I, I covered it all and and made a little junk journal out of it. I, I can show you that junk journal too as soon as I find it. The the napkins are cute and I'm going to do a napkin exchange this month. And I only have four of these to give away because I'm going to keep one. I only have five of these and I have two of these to give away but this one's got a little tour so I don't know about that one I might not be able to give it if it's tour Mitzi 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 so if anybody wants to to be involved in the napkin exchange 
the rules are I'll explain the rules I've got I've got rules I sh yesterday I showed uh, my napkin journal and I showed a, a box of my napkins so if you want to be involved in the napkin exchange just let me know but you have to send me 10 cocktail size napkins which is this five by five size napkins and and I taught everybody yesterday on yesterday's video how to tear the back off of the napkin tear the extra layers off to make it more lightweight and send only the pretty part and this napkin here even though this is cute I'm not sure I will include this in, in an exchange because it's got three blank spots. It's not fair that this is a whole napkin versus the rabbit. You know, when you open the rabbit up, it's got four pictures. So which kind of a napkin would you want to receive? This kind with four or this kind with one? See, so I'm not sure I would use this particular uh, St. Patrick's Day napkin in a swap because of that. That's just not fair, you know. But I only have four of these little cute bunny napkins with that I will be able to let go of but I've got other napkins and the rules are that you send me 10 napkins five by five co uh, five by five cocktail size that's inches and you have to mail it to me in in an envelope like this which is a six by nine envelope and I got these envelopes at the Dollar Tree Yeah, Javonna, I I think that would that would be fair, um, like a napkin that has an image all over versus the St. Patrick's napkin that only had had the one square. If I was to give a napkin away, I would not give this one in a napkin swap. I would give it in happy mail, but I would not give it in a swap because it doesn't have a picture all over. And that's courtesy. But you have to mail it to me in this size of an envelope, and it's a six by nine envelope. And, and uh, I got these envelopes at the Dollar Tree, eight in a pack. So you get your money's worth at the Dollar Tree. And Brittany, I am um, doing something special. If you go and buy one package of, of napkins and mail me 10 of them, I will mail you back 10 different napkins. And they will all be, they will all be different, different. And I will take your 10 and divide them up amongst other participants so they would get one of your napkins because you would send me all alike napkins so if you send me all you know that way you don't have to go out and buy 10 packages of napkins if you want to start a napkin collection yes i would do that with you there's a couple of other girls that want to play and they don't have napkins either and and I think if I can get 10 girls, you know, to send me napkins, I think I can get I can divide them up. OK, Brittany. So so uh, if you have 10 separate kinds, you know, you can send 10, 10 different ones to me. And I was going to express one time I got some napkins 
and this was several years ago okay uh, i got several i got some i got 10 back i sent i sent nice napkins like this and uh, they were they were completely covered with a print and the napkins i got in return were uh, one was a one was a tissue like a like a pocket tissue that you find in your purse and it wasn't really a napkin it was more of a tissue and it only had part of a picture on part of the it was you know it was one of these jippies it was a it was a jip it, it was an insult to me and it wasn't a full napkin and it was an and it was a tissue and then another time i got a beautiful napkin and it was an oriental napkin and it probably came from asia no doubt it came from somebody's collection but it was only a half of a napkin and i felt that that wasn't fair either so i'm asking you to pick a napkin that has a full print and send me 10 napkins and if you can send 10 different ones, that will be great. If you don't have any napkins, then, then buy one package of napkins and send me 10 of those. And I'm also telling you to take off the back layers of your napkins. Take these back layers off and you will save on postage napkins have a second and sometimes a third layer and you have to peel that layer off of the back there's one layer and look at here there are two layers on this napkin and then you have a what they call a ghost print and that's the background of the napkin behind the true print the real print but this is the part you want to you want to send me but i want it to be uh collared all over this was just an example of taking the back off so anyway you need to send me 10 napkins set uh different ones if you can and, a, and, and in, an, in an envelope, a, nine, a six by nine envelope with a self-addressed second envelope and stamped to me so that I can send you 10, 10 envelopes in return. But you have to put the postage on it for me. The Dollar Tree has them, Brittany. Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Uh uh walmart uh i think walmart will have them in the in the um where they sell the like the easter things uh holiday things over where the cards are they'll have napkins in the in the party section where you buy the kids party toys those party presents that you buy for all the kids at parties in that section of walmart carries them every craft and Craft Store has them, Hobby Lobby has them, Michaels has them. Uh, I would say Joanne has a section that sells party supplies and napkins. And uh, of course the Dollar Tree. And there are, uh, we've got a uh, party gift shop and it's nothing but party supplies. Um, it's it, up at the big, it's up at the mall. I can't remember the name of it. It might be Party Supplies. And they sell nothing but invitation napkins. And every the section is themed. Every birthday party is themed. You know, with the napkins to match for the kids. And uh, holidays. Tuesday morning has a beautiful selection of napkins. I've gotten lots of napkins at Tuesday morning. And I also, last night's uh, 
video that I recorded, I showed you my napkin collection. I have a, a, a glue book, a glue book of napkins, my glue book napkins. <laughs> and I showed it last night. So I've done, uh, I've been collecting napkins for a little while. <laughs> And, uh, but anyway, I, I'm promising that I will do a good job in the swap. So you have to, you have to send me 10 napkins with the self-dressed stamped envelope in return, mail it to me by the end of April, and you can message me on Facebook with questions or ask me now, but I'm making it easy for everybody. And Brittany wants to be on the list. I'm adding Brittany. No, Mitzi, he's coming home tomorrow night. He'll be home by midnight. He's bringing, he's bringing in the last, the last flight. Okay, Mitzi. And I think, I, I know I have Mitzi's, uh, I've got your address. And uh, let's see if I got Brittany's yet. I've got Brittany's address. And I've got, I think, I'm pretty sure I've got yours, Mitzi, too. I've started a new address book <laughs> just for you all. So I'm um, uh, I'm making it easy. Okay, Nancy, you're on the list. You need to message me in Facebook for my address, and I'll give it to you. Yes. Yes, you may. Okay, now, either that, Nancy, you can you can email me or um, or you can do, get on my Facebook page. If you uh, if you want to be in my Facebook group, you just go to uh, my it's my it's under my name Beth Schuler, but it's it's called Beth's Crafty Mixed Media Room, and you can see other people uh, post their artwork in my in my group and i try to post all my artwork in the group as well nope it's not raining here it's a beautiful sunny day it's uh, almost 80. beautiful day cheryl But uh, a napkin trade is a fun game to, to do, and I can guarantee that everybody will get 10 different napkins back from what they send me. Okay. That's fine, Nancy. Well, you just touch the messenger, and then you can talk to me privately in the messaging area on Facebook. And if you want to test it out, you can test it out and we can practice it. You can, they, they, right now they're waving to everybody. <laughs> they got to the, say, the, it'll say wave to Beth <laughs> and I will, and I will get that uh, message 
and then I can talk to you privately in there. And that's where we like to exchange addresses. Safe. It's safe there. Or you can email me either way. And uh, it's easy to do once you do it. And that's where I've gotten everybody else's addresses from uh, too as well. So anyway, if you have any problems, let me know. And I discussed a little bit about the, the napkins. And I will show you. This is my sample here. <laughs> to to explain the rules but you can get you can get 10 napkins in here very easily and you have to take it to the post office and uh yes you send them to me cheryl and then with an envelope uh you need to put an extra envelope in your in your in what you mail me mail me a new envelope with your name and and your postage on it or uh, if it's out of if it's out of the United States, uh, don't put the postage on it because I'll have to put United States postage on it to get to you. I don't think they accept can. I don't know if they accept a, an out of country stamp in the United States. I don't know. Uh, but I will do international if you but you have to mail me some stamps you don't have to put them on here but you can mail me the stamps and I will make sure you get 10 napkins in return and if you take the backing off of your napkins it'll make the weight less and and won't cost as much And you can always message me with any other questions or snags or anything. And I will be talking about it again and again for a few, for a week or so, so that uh, whoever wants to join in may join, you know, everybody can join in. This will be my first napkin swap that where I'm in charge. Well, Cheryl, when you mail this to me, have them weigh it first and how many ever stamps that you put on you need to send me that many stamps and and then just poke them in here and then seal it that would work and it's only fair right so if you have two stamps or three stamps you know to mail it to me then you, then you need to send me that many stamps so I can mail it back to you. And it might be less weight because of this envelope inside. And it would be only fair so I don't have to pay everybody's. I, I can't afford to pay everybody's postage. So we'll try it and see how it works. And... Um, but I will guarantee that you will get 10 different napkins back. And they won't be the cheap ones. It'll be the ones with the full pictures. <laughs> and if you goof up, you know, if, it, if something happens, something happens. It's nobody's fault. We'll, we'll work around it, okay? We're all learning. So we've had your napkin. I've got nine people participating now. Cheryl, are you going to do it too? Cheryl, you going to do the napkin exchange? I think it's called Party City. Okay, Cheryl. We have a party city at the mall and and it has it's a big store with tall tall aisles and every section every every 10 feet is a different section of 
uh, on a theme for kids. Hi, Giovanna. And uh, they have, you know, the Barbie section. And then they have the, the little pony section. And then they have, you know, all of the different, the mermaid section. And then they have all the boys sections and every he superhero. And then they have another aisle for weddings. And then they have another one for anniversaries. And they have another section for it's a baby girl and another section for it's a baby boy. They have a section for everything, Party City. And they have napkins galore. And I'm sure they have a discount area too. <laughs> hi, everybody that has come into the room. I know I haven't say, said hi to everybody. I've been talking. So anyway, that's the napkin. Um, that's that's going to be the napkin exchange. And we'll talk some more about it. And I just, I was showing you all some things that I had on my desk. And, um, and these are some of my napkins that you, that you might be receiving, you know, some of my napkins. And I have some more. I'll show you. I got a new catalog today. Free catalog. Yes, Brittany. Before before the end of the month. And then I will be mailing all of yours out at the beginning of next month. As soon as I get everybody back in. So that will give you time to get some napkins. And and um, I, I got this napkin from my mom today. And uh, I, I only got five of them. So I'm, I got to keep one for me. And and give away i can give away four and then um i will not be mailing this napkin because not not in a napkin exchange i might give this one away for a uh, happy mail but hi elsie but i i won't give this napkin away because it's mostly white and only has one fourth of it as a decorative so this napkin, I will save for somebody's happy mail. And I can art journal with this napkin. And, uh, and I'll show you. I have a napkin book um, that I've done, been working on for several years. So there are, this is my collection of napkins. And each page is a different napkin. And see, I've already got this one in my napkin book as my as part of my collection. And then I had it on top of this one. So this is two napkins. So I've, al I've already showed this on last night's video. If you want to see this napkin journal, it's a napkin collection. And I learned a lot doing this. This is the, the one napkin that I got, and I only got half of it. <laughs> so I cut it up and made it bigger <laughs> on pink on pink uh, pink uh, tissue paper. But as you can see, there's lots and lots of napkins, and so I've been doing it a while. Hi, Journey. So this was a this was a, a journal, a napkin journal that I did, and there is a mermaid on the front of it. And I got that from a friend uh, at church. I only had one. <laughs> but I also have a, a storage container full of napkins. And I showed this to everybody last night, too. So I won't get too detailed in it. But I'll let you take a peek. All right. This is just part of my napkin collection. I've got these, and you see this one here, of course, this is a bigger size, but I'm asking for five by five cocktail napkin size because it'll fit in that envelope very nicely. But you see, this napkin is not very good for a napkin exchange because of this, because it's only on a quarter of it. So I would personally would not use this in a napkin exchange. And but I would use it in and happy mail. 
So you see, I've got lots of napkins, and I've tore the I've tore the backs off of a lot of them, and I saved the backing, and I use it in my artwork for cleanups and like paper towels. So you can see, I've got a lot of napkins. I've got lots of napkins to share. So if if you don't have a napkin, any napkins in your house, then all you have to do is buy one package of napkins and just send me 10 of them. And if you peel the back parts off, your postage won't be as much. Because I'm going to go for the cheapest postage if I can. So if I can save, you know, if I can save a stamp, I will. Because that, that just gives me more stamps to send happy mail out with. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I had these in there. That was my sample. Okay. So I will be sending some of these out in my in my exchanges if uh, I think I'll have enough. So just let me know if you want to participate in the napkin exchange. And uh, so anyway, I got some happy mail. Okay, Becky. Okay. Thank you, Becky. I got some um, free catalogs today. And this one is Music Collections. And it has some old time records, like the covers of records. And I can use them for inches and ACT. I can cut these little pictures out. And use them for ACT cards. And uh, and I can cut this magazine up. And cut the little pictures out. See, here's one, the best of Elvis Presley. So that would be cute, you know, on an ACT card. And there might be some old-fashioned records in here old-timey ones like here's one of the Wizard of Oz that would be cute on a ACT card so and it's a free catalog and then this one is of movies movies um, now I will uh, I don't do horror movies or ugly movies or X-rated movies. I only do fun movies or famous, famous movies and old time actors. I will not do a, a horror movie, but I will cut out something fun and something, something, uh, you know, like a famous movie. And, but I use the pictures in here too. Classic releases. I'll use these little pictures for ACTs too. And I will definitely use this guy. <laughs> I will use him in, on an ACT too. <laughs> anyway, free catalogs. This is MoviesUnlimited.com, and this one's uh, CollectorsChoiceMusic.com. You can get free catalogs if you go to their website and request a free catalog, and you can have some free clip art. So I got that out of the way. And then today I went to the library 
and I got me some old books that they were going to discard. And I paid 25 cents a book today. Woohoo! So I got $4 of books. And I'm going to take this book and deconstruct it. I'm going to save. I'll, I'll leave the pocket in there. That's a bonus. But I'm going to take the pages out. Uh, or some of the pages out. And repurpose this book for a journal. And I bought, um, I'm going to make Lisa a journal. So it doesn't matter what kind of book this is. This one's on quit smoking. But I just, I just wanted the book back part of the book. It was a discarded book. And they didn't want it back. So I bought the book so that I can take it apart and use it for a journal. And I'm going to make a uh, mermaid journal. And then a couple of the books had had these book covers on them. And I and I've got to get with uh, Hi Violet. I've got to get with Mary uh, and find out what she's doing with her book covers. She's got some book covers that she's using in her journals, and she's using them as a journal page. And they're really sturdy and everything. So I need to get with her and find out what she's doing with these things. So I can get in on it. <laughs> Uh-oh, Cheryl. Cheryl, do you live in the city or in the country? So this will be a good book that I can uh, use for a... Uh, a journal and I was thinking that uh, this one and this one would be would be my my uh, mermaid journal books oh Becky had to get a shot I'm sorry Becky that hurts Cheryl, stay away from your windows. Cheryl said she just heard a shot. You're in the country. Okay. So it could be it could be someone target practicing or something. Yeah, your shingles shot, Javon. She, Becky had a shingles shot. It's a preventive, I think. So anyway, hi everybody that has come in. These are going to be my two uh, mermaid journal books that I'm going to uh, deconstruct. And as I progress with the uh, mermaid journal, I will let you all in on some of it as I make it. I'll let you. I'll keep you informed. But these are the two books I've picked out to deconstruct. They were. Uh, discarded books from the library for 25 cents a piece. I like the size and I like the thickness and I'm going to tear a lot of the pages out so that I can, I, I don't want the book to be, uh, I don't want the book to be fluffy. I want the book to be, you know, pretty close to, to be able to shut it. So I did that. And then I got some other books from the library. And I want to I want to use these <laughs> to tear these up too. Oh, diabetic shots. Oh. Wow, Becky. Okay, Elsie, um, a mermaid journal is a book that I'm going to be making. I'm going to take an old book and tear it up, tear it apart, and I'm going to use the spine of it. I'm going to decorate it 
in a beach theme and there will be some mermaids in the book and there's going to be some other pages in the book uh, that I will have like pockets in to put some things in and um, as I make the journal you will see more and more about it so you won't have to stay tuned as I create the mermaid journal and some of the girls have been mailing me some items to put in the mermaid journal that uh, mermaids and stickers and charms and and uh, any kind of anything beachy looking is going to go in these journals. And I'm making one for Lisa as a gift. And um, I'm making another one for uh, another friend. So, it's something new that will make, okay, if you eat too much, you can't eat too much, okay, okay, curb your appetite to avoid a shock. Now, Becky, I know I've talked to you a little bit about uh, my keto diet, and I just want to share one thing with you. Um. I quit eating bread and wheat, anything with wheat in it, and I don't crave bread anymore. I don't crave sugar anymore because I don't eat it. And I know, I know that um, you don't have to go completely keto, but if you were to just stop eating the wheat, the bread, the crackers, and the potato chips, and sugar limit or limit your sugar you won't crave it that's good that's good becky um i don't crave i don't crave food anymore like i used to uh i miss food i miss it i love to eat <laughs> don't we all but, uh, but I don't crave, I don't, I love bread. Oh, and I love like sourdough pretzels. Uh, you don't eat any of that stuff. That's great, Becky. Well, great. Okay. Well, good luck, sweetheart. We, I just, I'm just, uh, I just want to share, you know, anything. If I can help you, I want to help. Yes. I do too, Cheryl. <laughs> well, Giovanna, um, on my particular diet, uh, of course, I wasn't diabetic or anything. I didn't have a lot of health problems. I, I, I still take a blood pressure pill, and I, uh, but I'm off my cholesterol medicine. And uh, I don't take any other pills other than vitamins. But I eat um, things like pepperoni and salami. I eat bacon and eggs. But I don't eat bread. I don't eat pancakes. And I don't eat grains. Anything with grain. Um, which is crackers. I don't eat oats. I don't eat rice. I don't... Um, grains i don't eat any anything with grain and um but i can eat any kind of meat i want i can eat steak pork chops chicken uh i can have ribs but i can't eat the sugar in the barbecue sauce so if my barbecue sauce is a tomato sauce without any sugar in it or honey or sweetener in it i can eat it i stay away from sugar uh, I do drink creamer in my coffee. I can have heavy cream and I can have real butter, but I cannot have margarine because it's artificial. I don't do sweeteners. I don't do artificial sweeteners because they have linked um, those to, they've linked sweeteners to cancer. So, uh, but I eat a healthy diet. I eat a well-balanced diet. I eat salads. I eat all the vegetables I want. And I'm, I'm sticking to 
uh, a low carb side of the vegetables because I'm still losing weight and I want to continue to lose a few more pounds. I'm not at my goal weight yet. I'm, I'm not obese anymore, but I am still overweight a little bit. I can eat fish, any kind of fish, any kind of chicken, uh, baked chicken, fried chicken. If it's fried in its own chicken fat, I can have it. But I don't do artificial oils, which is your vegetable oils and granola oils. They're fake oils. I mean, I say fake, but I mean, they're made with a uh, type of corn that has a high starch. Yeah. Wait, eat your meat in a portion controlled but if i eat a piece of meat i always eat a salad with it but i can have all of the steamed broccoli and and cauliflower i can eat i can eat as much as i want of that uh, i stay away from corn potatoes and beets because uh, beets have a high content of sugar in them and once i reach my goal weight i can have beets i'll, I'll be able to eat beets but right now, I'm staying towards the low end. Yes, Becky, I hope that you can do it. And I eat a lot of salads. And sometimes I feel like I'm a cow. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating, a, eating, this, eating the grass from the fields when I eat my salads. But... Uh, but I, I stay away from starchy vegetables and uh, and starch foods, corn and um, potatoes. I stay away from at the time. But you could have, uh, once I reach my goal weight, I can have sweet potatoes and beets. But right now, I'm staying away from those because... I'm, I'm on the low end of it because I haven't reached my goal weight, my weight goal yet. And, uh, and I know a lot of people worry about the, the, um, the carbs, but I don't do it to the extreme. Yeah. Yeah. But it broke my heart when my doctor looked me in the face and said, you know, Beth, you're obese. And I thought, oh my gosh. That was heartbreaking, you know, and it still took me two or three years to make my mind to do something about it. I don't mean I don't want to lecture. I'm not lecturing. I, I just want to try to share. But anyway, I drink a lot of coffee now and I drink creamer in my coffee, uh, but I'm still losing weight. So I'm OK. Now. Back to my book haul. I got all these books from the library. And some of them are, are not uh, books that I would read. You know, like a Barbie book. <laughs> but look what this Barbie book's got in here. And I'm going to tear, I'm going to use it as a journal book. I'm going to tear it up and use it. But it's got Barbie pictures in it. But they might be cute for an ACT. Look at here. That'd be cute for an ACT card. Well, I haven't gone black with my coffee, but I have gone black with my tea. I've gone tea without sugar. So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, repurpose these books. And I think I want to read this one first. It's What Your Cat Wants. Isn't that cute? He'll be cute in a in a journal or something. So, uh, but I might need to, I might have to put this on the coffee table for a while. <laughs> well, uh, my little friends that were visiting with me, uh, they've already gone back to Kentucky. So... I don't think they play with dolls anymore. I think she's out of the doll stage. They look like my cat. Signs of a good, healthy cat. A happy cat. 
so anyway, I do kind of like cat books. So I'm not going to I'm not going to tear this one up yet. This one will go on the coffee table. But this one I I don't really want uh it's a uh, teenage stuff uh facing competition. This one's on leukemia and uh, I don't uh have any any particular interest in this at the moment so i think it can be repurposed for a, an art journal so uh but they were the in the discarded area but i like this one check this one out angels remembered and i think i can use some of these photos And I might be able to use some of the uh, articles in it. I was trying to see. It was printed in 96. So uh, I can use these pictures on ATC cards and in other art journals. Guardian Angels. And some of my Bible journaling. This one's a Bible verse. So I could put that in my Bible journal. So it's. it's And then it's got cross stitch patterns in the back. If you want to do a cross stitch. Oh, Aunt Bex got a diagram of her cat that her son did in elementary, and she's going to get it framed. That'll be nice. That will definitely be a treasure. But, um, but like these four cross stitching uh, angels here, I think they'll be cute on a ATC card or tag. Even you know, even if it's just cross stitch, collage. Do a collage with it. So I like the, this book and for 25 cents, you know, I, I thought it was a good buy. I used to do a little bit of cross stitching, but my eyes won't let me do it anymore. It's too hard. So I switched over to craft. <laughs> but there's a quite a few things in this book that I can use and... Um, I'm not going to tear this one up right away because I think I'm going to try to use a lot of the pictures. But these two books here are just about the right size for looky here. <laughs> I'm going to take this book apart and I'm going to bind my journaling my five papers in it. So I think, uh, you know, I don't particularly follow basketball, and uh, and and the book is is this this wide in the spine. So I think I could probably put my twenty pages in here of journaling by fives in here, and uh, I would take all of this out down to the spine and it's stitched so it would be easy to de, 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 decompose or whatever you call it and this book has 40 pages in it so I think my 20 pages of my uh, cardstock will fit in here and these pages are thick uh, photo paper like some of them are thicker than others like a poster. So I think I can use this for a journaling by fives book. And then I will get to decorate the front of it, redecorate it. So that'll that that's a good buy for 25 cents. I'm gonna put it up here together with my journaling of my five and then i found this garden of quilts book so 
I might have to look at this for a while before I tear. I don't know if I want to tear it up or not, but uh, I do like quilts. I've never really, uh, I've made quilts, the, you know, the little square quilts that the kids, that we you sew the squares together and then grandma sews it all together. I've done like that before as a kid, you know, but uh, I've never made a fancy quilt. But I thought that maybe some of these pictures would look good on an ACT cards and uh, or a tag or something. And I don't have to use the whole thing. I could I could use, you know, just parts of it and I or I could use that on an inchy. And find I find a bunch of squares of different quilts and put make inchies with them. So. I thought this book was pretty and that I might be able to use the pictures in it. And then I would have another size, uh, this size of a book that would be perfect for uh, an art book where I could use the, the book part for uh, this size paper. So, uh, yeah, that was my, my big find today, but these were discarded from the library and I, I really don't have any reason to keep any of these in the back, but this page here would be a great doodle page to doodle these on your, on your cards or ACTs or something. They're just patterns. And uh, see, here's the big square, and then here it is in a quilt. So I, I might have to doodle some of these before I cut them up in the back, the patterns in the back. There's one for a rose. And see this, you know, I might be able to use this pattern. If I do, um, if I wouldn't do this particular rows, and I wouldn't cut all these little pieces out, but I could cut bigger pieces and then do a collage, uh, do it all in shades of pink or all shades of red to collage and do it in pattern uh, scrapbooking paper. Then I could collage it on a on a tag. This would be cute. Um, because I've got the parts are were are there are the the whole rose is there. So I would cut like a leaf, this leaf and this leaf separate, and then this stem would be green. But then the rose, I would maybe cut it in four four pieces, three or four pieces, and then use scrapbook paper to make the rose. I could do that. Make it, make it my own art. So, uh, but here it is in a, in a pattern for um, a fabric and done in, in pinks, three or four shades of pink to make the rose. And I could do the same thing with scrapbook paper. That's what I was talking about. So I like that book. So I need to ask Mary what she's going to do with all these, these uh, book covers. <laughs> and I think she did, she, she used them in her art journals. And uh, I might have to do something like that too. Um, I found, an, I got one of these today. So I can, 
I was going to make another TP book. So what are you guys doing? What have you done today? Anything? Have you made anything? Got anything on your art table? Tell me something. Ask me something. What do you want to hear? What do you want to know about? Cheryl, is everything okay at your house? She heard a, a gunshot a little bit ago. You're painting a bunny, and it's not going well, no, Terry. Make, making a paper bag junk journal. Well, great journey. I'm going to work on this little paper, uh, toilet paper book. I promised somebody that I would do it again and show them how to, to bind it. They wanted to know how I binded mine, made it into a book, and uh, I can do that. Some of the... Uh, Paper towels and the toilet paper rolls, they are all different sizes anymore. None of them match. And I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. If I was, if I was a toilet paper person or, a, you know, somebody that had a manufacturer to, ma to manufacture toilet paper, do you want to know what I would do? My mom told me something that she would do. Cooking and doodling. Okay. Good. What are you cooking? But if I was a toilet paper roll person, my mom said the first thing that she would do was put advertisement on this part or a coupon for the next, you know, for something that, for another product. She thinks that this is wasted space and it should be advertised on. And if I was a toilet paper person and I wanted to sell toilet paper, I would make this hole smaller. The rod that you put this on is always small. Smaller. And I would make this smaller 
so that you could put more toilet paper on here. And I think it would be a hit. And I think people, you know, we buy the double, the double, uh, double roll anyway. But you could even get more on a toilet paper roll if you would make this a little bit smaller to fit those, the rods that go in there, the toilet paper holders. That's what I would do. And my mom would put an advertisement on there. Journey wants to know about the paper, uh, the napkin swap. I'm going to do a nap, a napkin exchange. And if anybody wants to do it, you may just let me know. And here are the rules that you have to do for the napkin swap. If you have 10 napkins, that's all I need is 10 napkins. And we'll have you mail me 10 napkins. Now, the napkins need to be printed on the whole napkin and not printed. We don't want napkins like this one. This is not fair. This is not fair. This would be a good napkin for uh, somebody's happy mail. You know, or when you do an ATC swap and you want to put something else in the in the envelope, put this napkin in that in that in save that napkin for for that time. But this time with a napkin swap, we would like to have full napkins that have net that have collar on all four collars, and that is only to make it fair. Okay, chicken with potatoes and broccoli, yummy. Yeah, me, Gilly. So you can see that these napkins are beautiful, acceptable napkins. Okay? If you have 10 different napkins and they're the cocktail size, which is five by five, this is what I'm asking you to do. 10 napkins. If you don't have 10 separate napkins, that's okay. Then you just need to buy or send what you have. In a, if you have duplicates, that's okay. If you have to, if you don't have any napkins at your house whatsoever, then go to the Dollar Tree or someplace inexpensive and buy one package of na napkins, and just send me ten. And we will, and I will take care of the the mixing up part for you. I've got enough girls that are sending napkins. If if you send me ten of one one collar or one one pattern, I can take your napkin and give everybody one of those, and then I can divide the other napkins up that way. So, but I promise, my promise to you is that when you send me ten napkins, whether they're all the same or all different, I promise to send you back. 10 different napkins that are all different. I'm not asking you to go out and buy 10 packages of napkins. No, I'm not asking you to do that. I'm just asking you to send me 10 napkins, but I will send you back 10 different napkins. Now, napkins come with a backing, and you need to peel that backing off. You can easily do that if you just have a little patience and separate them at the corners and peel off the white parts. Then your shipping will not be as much. You need to take your 10 napkins, separate it if you wanted to. You need to separate them. If you don't separate them, then you're going to have to pay extra postage. I do not know what your postage will be. But you send me 10 napkins in an envelope like this. This is a 6 by 9 envelope that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I, there was 8 in a package. 
So this was a good buy. So you can buy one package of napkins and one package of these for two dollars. Okay. You're going to mail me. You're going to mail me ten envelopes inside of here, and they and ten will fit in there nicely. And they and you can layer them like this. Put another layer down like this. And believe it or not, you can slip this inside. But you also need to send a second envelope with your name and address on it so that I can return you back 10 more envelopes. Hang on a minute. I'm sorry. I got to take this. Hello? Hey, Beth. Yeah. Okay. We, we got it filled up, and then we were going to go get something to eat. I didn't know if you had dinner and you wanted to go with us or not. Yeah, I'll go with you. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be there, and I'll see you. Okay, sweetie. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. That's my friends. They're coming over to get me. But anyway, you need to return. Uh, I need a second envelope with your name and address on it and when you go to the post office you can have them weigh weigh your envelope to see how much postage to put on it and then you take that much postage if it says three stamps then you need to put three stamps three more stamps in there for me so that i can mail back your 10 envelopes i can't afford to pay postage for you but i can make sure that you get 10 envelopes in return so this is a swap this is a trade you send me 10 i send you 10 back but you have to help me with the postage and that's really kind of the rules you need to put 10 in a five by five cocktail sized napkins in a self address and a self-addressed stamped envelope mail it to me by the end of the april and then you can message me for any questions if you do not have my address you can message me and i will give you my address and i hope that uh, if you are having trouble you want to play but you have other issues, then you message me with your questions and I will help you with an answer. Uh, we did talk about last night on last night's video. Someone said, well, can't you just put it in a regular envelope? And I don't think it's, it's going to work. I think it'll be too bulky. So these envelopes probably won't work because the the uh, napkins just they're going you're going to have to fold them in half and they're going to make be awful thick and you might end up paying more postage on this envelope and this way if you use the orange envelope then that you don't have to fold the napkin gilly says hi to everybody while she's eating her dinner <laughs> so anyway you lay 10 napkins down you will be able to slide them in. You will be able to slide them in very neatly and they will fit. If you just hold your mouth right, you might use, slide it in on a piece of paper and then pull that paper out or something like that. But you, they will go in here very nicely. Five by five cocktail size envelopes with a second envelope addressed to yourself and I will return this envelope to you with your new 10 envelope with new 10 napkins brand new 10 napkins and I'm asking that the napkins have a full picture so any other questions do you understand it? Am I clear? Clear as mud. <laughs> but I will be talking about it again. I, I talked about it last night. And um, uh, 
I've, we've talked about where we can get napkins from. And and if you have a uh, any friends or neighbors, you might find some napkins from, you know, from them that I know uh, my neighbor gave me some napkins that she had. And, all, she, you know, just one or two of what she had left over from holidays and things. They could be holiday napkins. Um, of course, that's usually when you buy napkins is for holidays, Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving. And uh, my, I had a great aunt that played bridge. And I got lots of her old napkins over the years. And I've given, I think I've given most of them away with, with napkin swaps. But I, one time I got a napkin swap and I got, um, it was a tissue. It was a, it was a, one of those pocket tissues and it had a design on it. It was like a, a pumpkin. I might have it in, in this book, but it wasn't the whole napkin and it was just a tissue. <laughs> so even though sometimes those, um, those pocket tissues, sometimes they say napkin on them, like especially in, in Europe, they might call it a napkin. But we're talking about the five by five cocktail napkins. That's what we're talking about. So uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. And if you want to play, uh, let me know and I'll put your name on the list. Right now we have 10. We've got 10 playing plus me. And uh, there's room for more. Okay, going to go cook dinner, Journey. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to work on this uh, I, uh, this toilet paper thing for now. And I got a new I got a new map yesterday. I got a new map. Look at this map. This will be fun to work on. And you know, it's, 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 it's just all blue and white. This might be good to play a game on. It's on both sides, too. Hmm. It was free. It was a free map. So I got one. So... I do too. I love maps. So anyway, I'm just going to stay on for just a little bit longer. I'm, uh, I've am got company coming over to get me. And then we're going to go out to eat. And then I'll come back on later tonight um, and catch Mary. Uh, Mary, Mary will be playing a, a doodle game tonight. And then I have to hear, hear the new Friday night story on Bandit. Have, do you all listen to the bandit story? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if I'm in the camera or not.
Have you all been following the story about Bandit? He's a cat. It's a story that Mary talks about on her, at the end of her um, stream on Friday nights. She tells us a, she gives us a bedtime story. <laughs> Came in late for one chapter. <laughs> it she kind of does a little uh history every time she starts it up again she she gives you a little recap of what happened last week i've missed one week too but but it picks back up well uh, he was in the trash can one night the tra something in the trash can moved and uh and i can't remember who was in the room but they they jumped back and was scared and it was it was banded in the garbage can <laughs> yes they are and mary i tell you she's a good storyteller she needs and you know what I, I'm sorry, as much as a, as a good as an artist that she is, she needs to make this into a real story, a real a, a children's book and and submit it to be to be printed. I think it would be a big hit. But there you can probably go back and, and get catch them all. Uh, they're always on Friday night. So I, I I've missed a couple of them, but I do know that she's in the uh, the old storeroom, the old store building, and and we're and we're all in there with her, <laughs> and we're sitting around talking and and then and then last week somebody donated us all gift cards. We had gift cards. It was fifty dollars gift cards. Was it to Hobby Lobby or to somewhere? I can't remember. Yeah, we could. We could. Do, we could all join in and, and and do it. If you would, if you draw or something, Gilly, why don't you draw her a picture of Bandit or of of a scene of one of her stories? And send it to her. Yeah, and she can bind them. She she could book. She could do that. I think that's a great idea. I think it was Sharon Lumbar, Lumbo, uh, Lumbar. She's from um, Oregon, and she sent her a sketch of the bandit that stole the pencil, the lead pencil, and she has it in her art journal. Uh, Mary has it in her art journal, so she would put it in her in your in her journal if you send her a. a picture well i haven't spent anything yet <laughs> i said uh, i was going to get one of those die cutting machines <laughs> but i'm still looking for one i'm looking for one uh, at the goodwill store so i can get it half price 
I haven't found one yet. Because I don't have one of those. I got enough crafts around here to choke a horse. I don't need any more crafts. Just use what I got. Play with paper towel rolls. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gilly, don't don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> I hope it's good. I thought about you today at the library. There was a book on Spain. <laughs> I touched a book that was on Spain and I should have picked it up. But anyway, um, I think I'm kind of done for a while. I need to go ahead and jump off here and get ready because my friends are coming to pick me up. And uh, they're probably almost here. And we're going to go out to eat. I don't know where we're going. Wherever they want to go. And uh, anywhere I can get a salad would be good. <laughs> I'll get these guys all painted up. Then I'll start uh, binding on it sometime. Okay, Mitzi, I'm going to go. So um, if y'all don't have any more questions for me, I can, uh, I'll see y'all in Mary's room tonight. Thank you. Bon appetit. To Fibs mods, oh, kisses to fit to all of us and to the moderators and Beth. Thank you, Terry. I don't know where all my mods left. I had I had three or four in here the other day. I think Aunt Beck had to go. But uh, there's Joyce. Joyce is with me. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you. I'll hopefully see you over at Mary's tonight for the story time anyway. By the time I get back. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll work some more on this. Uh, mini. I'm going to do a mini book. And I think uh, Holly won, wanted to watch it. So maybe Holly will come in tomorrow and watch me. So... That's all for this evening. You all have fun. Be careful. Be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. <laughs> uh, Mary comes on about 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, I think it's 8 o'clock uh, Eastern and it's like 7 o'clock Central. Something like that. And uh, tomorrow, Saturday, I'll probably come on about noon, one o'clock. Okay. I got pain on me. I got to go get cleaned up. Okay. See you after a while, Giovanna. Thank you, guys. I'm going to hang up. Okay. Good deal.